Hi there, this is a follow-up to the um, investigation of the effect that polystyrene has on electrical wiring. So one of the issues for using loose polystyrene beads in wall cavities for insulation is that um, polystyrene can react with the electrical wiring that you find in your house, your mains wiring, um, in a way that um, is called um, migrating plasticizers. So the, the chemicals that cause the electrical insulation to be nice and flexy um, interact with the polystyrene in a way that uh, the polystyrene becomes gooey and the um, insulation becomes less flexible or potentially uh, brittle. So uh, there's not very much research on this phenomenon. Um, so just to, to get a handle on how big an issue this really is, uh, back in June I put I built up an extension cord with some of the standard house wiring and put a bunch of polystyrene beads in a coke bottle to see and plug this extension cord into um, plug my fridge into um, into this extension cord. Uh, so that's been running since June and I'm looking at this and I can't see any indications of anything um, any discoloration or stickiness or anything going on with the with the wiring. So what I'm looking for is some kind of gooey or sticky residue and there's nothing there. And uh, I've also checked, I've got another one of these um, hooked up to the web server that runs this website, um, the um, cheap wall insulation website, and that's also not showing any signs of, um, of any issues. However, um, funnily enough, uh, in my research I, I read about some guy who'd opened up uh, their old ZX81 from the early 80s and they complained about and they said they found a whole lot of stickiness and I thought that was quite interesting and then today I was cleaning out the garage and I found my old ZX81 and here it is and lo and behold here is the offending stickiness evident on the power cord so that kind of gives you a sense of what you might expect. Uh, of course, your, your situation in a wall might be completely different. It's different wiring, it could be different ages, and so on and so on. But um, this has been sitting in, the, in here since the mid-80s. And um, that's what it looks like. Um, it's not exactly gooey, but it's just a, a white... white stuff and uh, so it's like little tiny bits of the polystyrene have stuck to the wires and that's it um, so that's my ZX81 and then I also found and this is just a, a bit of a geek fest here I found my Sinclair ZX Spectrum which also hasn't been opened in 20 odd years and let's have a look So this, will, this dates from um, uh, mid 80s. And, uh, it's in much nicer condition because I've got the cardboard box. Ooh, what a lovely piece of equipment. Ah, well that is interesting. The same kind of thing, same kind of issues. Ah, yeah, oh, look at that. That's a pretty good example of the chip. You can see that. So, the um, polystyrene sticks to the wiring. Interesting. Um, not in any 
dramatic way, and I don't think it's uh, markedly affected the integrity of the, the wire, of the, um, the wires inside the, the um, insulation. But anyway, um, that is so that's mid 80s. Um, so that's quite a long time ago, and uh, yeah, interesting. Well, there you have it. Um, this is no, this is uh, not an indication of what might be happening in uh, in a real world situation with loose polystyrene beads in a house because it's different wiring, it's different ages, it's different um, environmental conditions. But uh, interesting. Um, Obviously, there is an effect, although, interesting, I can just scrape it off, but the fact that it's stuck um, indicates that some sort of chemical reaction is going on. The wiring itself doesn't look or feel brittle or anything. Um, hmm, there you have it. Interesting.